Sometimes you'll want to expose Dynamics CRM Entity Data Views to share for consumption in external websites or applications. With Entity List OData feeds, you can easily configure and expose lists for consumption in this industry standard format. In this video, we'll discuss the OData protocol, configure an Entity List OData feed, use Microsoft Excel to consume OData, and manipulate the display of an OData feed using client-side JavaScript. So let's get started with a bit of background on OData and how you can use Entity List feeds in your portal. Open Data Protocol, or OData, provides external access to a data source via a website. OData is the protocol recommended for the Open Government Data Initiative. It is also the data API for Microsoft Azure. When an OData feed is exposed, data is delivered in JSON format which is a data format not unlike XML. OData feeds can be exposed for a variety of reasons. For example, clients may wish to create custom live reports based on data that you provide for them in this way. It can be used to power a news feed, can be consumed by an external application, or can be leveraged by client-side Ajax to provide unique UI implementations of the entity list feature. Now let's see how easy it is to configure an entity list OData feed. So on my portal, you can see that I have a list of accounts being exposed. This is a standard entity list here, um, and it's showing the active accounts view from the CRM. Notice the columns that are being exposed here. I have account name, uh, phone number, as well as revenue, and city, state, street, and country for the address. So it's a standard entity list record in the CRM. You can see that I have uh, all my required fields filled out just as any other entity list. Page size is set to 10. So of course, on my portal, I'm uh, respecting that with pagination. And what I can do is additionally expose this entity list as an OData feed for external consumption. So in order to do that, I can scroll down on the entity list record to the section where it says OData feed. And in order to enable it, I just need to click the checkbox that says enabled and specify a view. So in this case, I'm going to select the same view, active accounts. You can also specify a custom entity type name and entity set name, although these will default to the logical names for that entity, uh, so they are optional. So I can actually go ahead and view the OData feed that's exposed on my portal by navigating to uh, the appropriate OData URL. So all OData feeds are found at underscore OData. And you'll notice here that I have a collection that's been exposed called accounts, which matches the entity set name that I've entered in for the entity list. So I can navigate to the URL for that collection. And now we can see uh, the accounts from the list uh, being displayed in JSON format. And these records are going to be the same records that were exposed in the list um, that you saw earlier. I can go ahead and highlight one of these records. So you can see that this is uh, JSON, which is a JavaScript-based object notation. Notice that the attributes uh, which are shown in this object we have revenue, uh, the address, attributes, city, state, and province, uh, street, and country, as well as the account name up here, are the exact same attributes which are exposed via the columns on the view. Finally, if I scroll down here, you can see that a link is being automatically generated. Um, which contains the next set of records. Um, so 10 records are being shown here. I can skip ahead 10 records via this URL, meaning that if I'm consuming this feed uh, with an Ajax or some other kind of application that has pagination, uh, that pagination will respect the page size on the entity list automatically. So what can we do with an OData feed? Here's a practical example using an OData feed to populate and automatically update spreadsheet data in Microsoft Excel. 
So I'm going to take this OData feed that's been exposed here, and I'm going to bring it into Microsoft Excel as a data source. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the Data tab here, and I'm going to select From Other Sources, and I'm going to choose From OData Data Feed. That's going to allow me to paste in a link uh, of my OData. So I'm just going to make sure that I select the entire OData URL uh, minus the collection set name and paste that into that field. When I click Next, you can see that I will have all collections that have been exposed by my portal um, to select from. I've, I've exposed one collection, which is Accounts. So I'm just going to check that and click Next. And now I will click Finish. And here I can have a number of choices. Okay, so I can choose a pivot table or a power view report or a pivot chart. Uh, for now, I'm just going to choose table to begin with. And I'll click OK. So as you can see that that produces a table containing all of the uh, records uh, from my OData feed, the uh, different account records um, with the fields that have been uh, exposed by the feed. So additionally, I can go ahead and make a chart based off of that data. So I'm going to return to the Data tab once again, and I'll choose Existing Connection. I'll just go ahead with the connection I've already brought into the workbook. But this time, I will select Pivot Chart, which I'll just drag underneath the table here. And now I can choose uh, some fields to build a chart off of. So I'm going to uh, view how many accounts correspond to each city. So I'm going to choose name, and I'm going to choose city. And I'll leave city on the axis and sum the records by name to see how many records, uh, how, how many accounts that is, are in each city. Um, I'll make the chart look a little bit better by going into the Design tab and changing the chart type to a pie chart. So now you get a visual representation of where most of my customers are. So you can see that I have the most customers in Redmond. So we'll just close this uh, worksheet for now. And now let's go ahead and make a change to an account. Perhaps uh, the Advanced Components account is going to relocate from Dallas to Redmond. So I'm going to open that up. And I'll just change the city to Redmond. And I'll save that. So what's really powerful about this is if I go ahead and uh, reopen that workbook in Excel, you'll notice that the uh, change has been automatically reflected in the data. So you'll notice that uh, no longer is Dallas being shown in my pie chart. Instead, the Redmond slice of the pie has increased uh, with the relocation of that account from Dallas to Redmond. Now I'll create a custom JavaScript implementation of an OData feed which is how a partner or an external customer might consume your feed on their portal. OK, so now that I've got my OData feed here on my portal, I might like to render this with a unique UI provided by Ajax JavaScript on the client side. So I've got some JavaScript that I've prepared here. And as you can see with this JavaScript, I'm using the standard jQuery library to make an Ajax call against an OData feed. Upon this Ajax retrieval, I'm going to expect a series of accounts. And then I'm going to iterate through those accounts with this each statement, generating some markup for each account, um, which is going to contain attributes from the account, such as the name, revenue, and address, uh, and then presenting that into a list item. So as you can see, one of the arguments for the jQuery Ajax call is a URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the URL of my OData feed from my portal. 
and paste that in to the URL variable in my JavaScript. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this code into an empty web page. So here I have a, an empty web page prepared. Uh, I'm logged in as a system administrator, so I can go ahead and edit the copy of this page uh, to put in this JavaScript. So I've opened up the editor. Now I'm going to go to Tools and click Edit HTML. And here's where I can just copy my JavaScript. And I'll just paste it right in. Great, so now my JavaScript is prepared. And I will click OK and click Save. And now you can see that the accounts for my feed are being displayed in this thumbnail format on my portal, thanks to my Ajax code that I've placed it into the copy of the page. With Entity List OData, you've got a standard protocol for customized displays or sharing data with external websites and applications. To learn more about portal Entity List features, visit our learning center at community.adxstudio.com. <laughs>